and welcome to another episode of my photography vlog and today I have travelled to Limerick to a place called Loch Gur and at Loch Gur if I give you a look here you have um, a nice loch area there's an old uh, castle that's just up here and I'm here for uh, sunset and I was hoping that the water was going to go flat um, it's kind of flat right now but it's not totally flat we have uh, approximately 10 minutes until uh, sunset so hopefully we will get a, a nice bit of flatness on the water so it'll give me some nice um, reflections I'm going to take exactly the same composition but I'm going to do it at a number of different f-stops and that's going to uh, show a depth of field and also where I'm focusing is going to be the same spot in each of the shots so I'll start with that um, right now and I'll give you a look here at a uh, live view on the camera so right now I have this set that it is um, if I get some focus okay so I've got this set up here with the scene and I'm focusing a third into the uh, shot and I'm shooting at the moment at uh, f4 so I'm gonna take a photo here I'm on a two second timer so that we don't get any camera shake so taking the shot there which is um, four seconds and if I give you a look at that image you can see that where I focused which is on the reeds and stuff like that is uh, perfectly sharp but further on then from that in the distance it's soft and the reason why it's soft in the distance is because at f4 you're limiting your focal uh, range now if I take a, another shot now and what I'm going to do is bring the uh, f-stop up to a 7.1 I'll take exactly the same shot now again and with that shot if I zoom in again to give you a look so the reeds are again perfectly in focus and we somewhat have a small bit more detail but when we're looking at the hills it's not as sharp as it can be so I'm going to move the um, f-stop up again a bit further I'm going to go as far as f11 and again I'm going to take the next shot And now looking at the next shot here, if we start to look, the reeds are perfectly in focus and we seem to be getting a bit more clarity on the hill in the distance. And I'm going to take one more here, which is at F16. Now it's going to be a longer exposure. It's going to take around two seconds to expose at that. But we take this shot here and now again to review that image, we see that the reeds again are um, perfectly in focus. And now we're starting to get detail as well in the hills. So the hills are no longer soft. The sky as well um, you can retain some of the details on that because of f16 and to go one further step on just to go really up I'll go to f22 which is really creating a narrow uh, aperture so you're getting very little light in so it's going to take a longer time to expose the shot it's going to take four seconds and by it taking four seconds now um, the water itself would be smoothed out a bit further and more importantly the distance then uh, between the reeds and the hills the hills are perfectly uh, sharp as well so it's actually a very interesting uh, exercise to do to be able to understand uh, the differences between taking the shot and the uh, focal aspect of it and you can also use that to your advantage with a very wide open aperture if you've got a subject in front you can create bokeh in the background and what that's going to allow you then to do is create a very atmospheric uh, image
as you saw a moment ago, there are different you can get in the shot with the different f-stops and the um, focal distance and the depth of field that you can get in each of those. I'd be interested to see actually which of the shots you prefer. So I will uh, like to see your comments below on which one you prefer from the distance on the focal points. And uh, that's it for another very quick episode of my photography vlog. Thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy the content. As always, please do like and share the um, uh, the details on uh, Facebook and uh, social media and stuff like that. And as always, hit that uh, subscribe button and the bell. Thanks very much, and until the next time, Shalom Gafol. Here's my two friends that came out with me. This is John Myler. He's very shy. He's from Dublin, but it's okay. And this I'm is not that, shy! Yeah, he's from I'm Limerick. I'm not shy! He's from Limerick, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs>